All right, for this week's tip uh, on Fusion 360 is that you can have multiple uh, inspection planes or um, these uh, section analysis planes. So a lot of people, they don't know that you can actually have multiple of these and it has its own uh, section in the um, browser. So I'll show you uh, creating one section analysis and how to cycle through them and how to uh, turn them on, turn them off, and then also edit them. So I can click here under inspect section analysis and they could be in a single part or in a assembly. In this case, it's an assembly. Uh, this is a, a shredder um, assembly that I was doing for a company. It didn't end up going through, but anyways. Um, so here I can turn everything off and uh, be able to um, you know, be able to select the, just the, um, um, just the planes if I want, but let's say I wanted to see here and I see that I have, uh, okay, I thought it was an angle, but it's not, so that's okay. And then I can move this guy back and forth. This plane is slightly tilted, but it, that doesn't matter as long as it's all X, X zero, Y zero on that plane. So if it's rotated, it doesn't matter. You can see here, I can do any of the section analysis. Uh, that you guys are probably available uh, uh, no so I can cut this guy in a section and then I can hit OK and once I hit OK under analysis I have a new tab that now I have section and you'll notice one of the dead giveaways the first dead give giveaways is uh, that it says section one so I can go in here right click and rename I kind of already talked about that uh, the renaming tip but I can call this left um, left shaft so let's say if I'm looking through the gear, this would be a section of the left shaft. And I can go in here and turn this off. And then I can go back to the section analysis in the inspect window and then say I want to have a right shaft. And if you see, I hit OK. Now I can have the right shaft uh, enabled. Now obviously, you cannot have both sections enabled at the same time. Otherwise, I already... I, I guess that would be kind of cool to be able to see between two parts. So get rid of everything else and then see between two areas. Maybe that might be something that Fusion can add later on. But right now, that is not uh, available to do that. So what I mean by that is be able to have a section here and then a section there and then then be facing each other. Uh, and I'm wondering also if they are because they are face, uh, facing away from each other. So let's talk about that. I can right click and hit edit so right click edit and then I can rotate these to be facing each other at 180 degrees I still doubt this is gonna let me do it nope so it'd be nice if they had a feature where I can see this half and this half and then get rid of everything else that would be cool anyways so now I can create as many sections as I want I could rename them I could not rename them or whatever so this is a uh, pretty um, helpful if you want to have a, a, a very detailed analysis or one of the things is that even if you have simple parts so how can this help you if you only have simple parts you can do an X Y and Z section so I can do or an X Y and then a, um, a X Z and then maybe um, a Z Y or something like that so maybe those three sections and uh, that way I can see uh, basically all the different dimensions inside of the part. So that's as simple as it gets under inspect um, section analysis. And now, of course, sometimes a lot of people in Fusion, they'll have it like this, and then they'll use this to look at the section, and then they'll hit like escape or escape on the keyboard to cancel. But what happens is that will not um, add it to this list. So the only way you can add it to this list is if you hit the OK button. So uh, that's for this week's tips on Fusion 360 that not a lot of people know. Uh, I teach Fusion 360 on Udemy. Go ahead and check the links in the description for a coupon to the direct link to my classes on Udemy. I teach beginning and intermediate Fusion 360. Those are the two courses I have available. And then I will be working on an advanced Fusion 360 course. So go ahead and check those out in the description. And if you like these tips, I'm going to continue to do them. Go ahead and subscribe and uh see the next week's uh, tip. Uh, thanks, and also check on my Udemy. I teach other things other than Fusion 360, some, something you might also be into. I will see you guys on the next tips.